Dearly beloved, we have gathered here to watch this program Love Island today. Please bestow some joy, some happiness upon us for this whole entire hour. Thank you, Lord. Yes, people, it's your boy Fred Stones, my 9 p.m. gang. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for joining me once again. If you haven't subscribed yet, press that button. Like, comment, share, do all that stuff. Gang, let's talk about tonight. So tonight's episode, yeah, started back where Finn and Paige, remember Finn proposed to Paige, he stuck his Finn in a page and them things there, they were happy, celebrations around the house, even in my yard and them things there, I was so emotional, I had the tissues out, just dabbing the eyelids and them things there, the, co the corners and them things there, like I was so happy for them, like Finn has now got a lifetime su supply of some fresh Scottish toes to suck, yo man like Finn, I'm happy for him, like everyone was celebrating in the garden, and then like while they were celebrating, yeah, and I think I think it was um Shanice and Molly were talking, and Molly said to Shanice, I think you're gonna be next or something like that. And then I think Callum said something like, Oh no, I will be next. Something of such sort anyway. Shona heard it. Shona was like, said to Paige, I need to tell you something. Pulled Paige away, walked Paige away away from her celebration to tell her, Shona, I don't know. I just felt like it was a bit selfish at that moment. You could just let Paige just enjoy her moment. Tell her later. It's not always about you, you know, Shona. Like, at that moment, I was I was quite annoyed at her. Just let Paige enjoy her moment. I wanted to take her leg off and throw it at her. Seriously, I was annoyed. But anyway, Demi and Shanice was having a conversation, yeah? And in this episode, Shanice was Cupid. Oh my God. She was slinging them arrows. I swear down. And it hit. It hit tonight still. Demi expressed interest in Luke M. Yes, man like Luke M, I felt sorry for him still, like, his, his, his breath has been repelling girls, so I don't know if it's his armpit hair, I don't know what it is, people are saying he's got no sauce, he's dry and all this, I don't know what it is, but it seems like a nice guy on the surface, but he's been getting pied off, so, Demi ain't got no one, she was meant to be with Naz, she was telling Shanice, you know what, she liked Luke M from the get-go, but she didn't want to, the whole thing with Naz still, she didn't want to trouble the waters, even though it looked like she was, at one moment she was, but, she expressed, like, interest in my man. And this episode, yo, all forces combined and two became one. It was beautiful, two became one. You know like the Spice Girls song? I need some love like I never needed love before. Wanna make love to your babe. Had a little love, now I'm back for more. <laughs> It was beautiful. Jordan was chatting to Chadia yeah, about Rebecca, saying Rebecca's cold. She's put her walls up on all this, yeah? The amount of guys Rebecca's been through, yeah? Like, in real life and in the show, yeah? This girl is cold. She's colder than a horse heart. You know them ones there, like, um, Jordan was saying about how she's got her walls up. I never thought she had any walls left. The amount of guys she's been through. That girl's literally got skeletons. She's got skeletons in her fanny. When guys go down there, trust me, all they hear is, just lost souls down there, I'm telling you. That girl is a crazy girl. I don't know what's going on through there. Every guy here not, hasn't worked out any of them. Why did she come to the show? I don't understand it. And the mad thing is, her and Jordan got sent home tonight. And I felt really bad for Jordan. Because I felt like people just wanted to send her home. But he was part of the package. You know them ones that the guy really hadn't showed what he could offer yet. And I feel like there was other girls that he could have linked up with. But that was that. Luke M was talking to Luke T about Natalia. See this Natalia girl? <laughs> Do you know what? On Twitter, I see they've been calling her Nutella. But for my show, we're going to call her Niagara. See this Niagara girl, yeah? This girl, yeah? Oh, my God. She is a snake. I know I said it from the last episode. She's a snake. This girl was the one that made um, Adam and Eve eat the apple. This girl's a snake, a serpent at its worst. Slimy thing, yeah? Anyway, Luke M was talking to Luke T, just letting him know what's, what happened in that whole department with this waist chick, yeah? And then the thing is, yeah... This girl, this Nutella chick here, or Niagara, whatever you want to call her, any names is welcome, trust me. Um, This girl, yeah, she's in the kitchen, and she, everyone's in the kitchen, and then Shanice was talking to her, Shanice and Luke T was talking to her, and it was asking her about the whole situation with um Luke M. And she's like, oh, um, she's like, no, I didn't completely shut it off, like, you know, I just wanted to let him know where we stand and all that. What? You told him you're not into him! What do you mean he didn't shut it off? Anyway, yeah? And then, like, Shanice still couldn't understand what she was saying. And she's like, you know, um, Shanice was like, oh, what, did you tell him that? Did you tell him that it's not completely dead? Because he's under the assumption that the, 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 you lot are dead. She's like, no, but, you know, I don't want to, like, I think she said she don't want to like, give him hopes or keep his... Oh, my God. 
There are ways to try and get your profile, your name and stuff up and level up on this show. This is not how to do it. This girl's going to get hated. She don't even understand what she's doing. Like, what are you do Anyway, I'm done with her. I'm done with her. I'm actually done with her. Next day, after all the partying, everyone went to bed, woke up in the morning, happy, loved up in their little... It was good. See everyone in their little couples and all that, except for Shona. I, I feel it for her still, but hopefully... In the coming episodes, it looks like this next episode coming, they got someone coming for her. So I hope he's not a builder, it's everything she wants and he, she can mother him. But yeah, um, everyone was in their little couple and Finn and Paige, I think they were mashing, you know. Because, you know, I'm not sure what they were doing. He was definitely tasting the haggis in them things there. He definitely nibbled on the haggis. I'm not, <laughs> I don't know. But they were doing something there still. But yeah. Jess was talking to Priscilla in the garden. She was expressing her joy at being coupled up with Ched. She said she love her for wedge off Ched and them things there. She said, yo, their muscles turn her up, turn her on and them things there. Now I'm joking. But she's saying she's happy with him. He's not overbearing. He's like perfect. He helps her out whenever she needs because she was in the garden moving a chair and he came over like, you know, <laughs> like to come and help her and them things there. And she's happy. But them two, yeah, whenever I look at them, I can't help but think, I don't know why I keep thinking about them in the bedroom. <laughs> I don't know. It's a bit perverted of me, yeah? But when I think about them two, yeah, I just think about... I didn't want to see Baby Boy when the, the stepdad is just mashing up the mum in the bedroom and he's got her on the shoulders and them things there. That's how... This guy's going to fold over Je Jess in the bedroom. He's going to treat her like origami and them things there. But yeah, I'm happy for them that they're happy and all that. Mike, Luke T and Luke M was in the garden and Mike was telling Luke M, Yo, fam, you're sauceless. Got no sauce. You know, like them money they go through the McDonald's drive through get their chips and forget to, to, to get a little sauce with it and them things there. Sauceless, just eating dry chips and them things there. Throats are getting cut up by the, by the salt and them things there. He's saying you're sauceless. Like, my man was trying to, uh, Luke M was trying to show him chat up lines that he uses on girls. I can't remember. It was dead. It was absolutely dead. Don't ever use that again on national TV. I can see why he's getting no gash. This guy here is dry, dry. Like, anyway, then man, they tried to coach him, give him a little sauce and them things there. Try to spruce him up a little bit. You know them ones there? Just make him a man and them things there. But he, he, he's, he's, he's learning still. He's learning. I really like Luke M, man. He seems like he's got a good spirit. I want him to do well on the show. And I like the fact that even though him and Mike didn't start from a good place, like that, Mike is still, Mike is a nice guy, man. Mike was still trying to help him. And obviously, you know, everyone knows about their, his bromance with Luke T, so... I, I rate that still, I rate that. Um, then the text came through, they had to do this task where they had to like drive around in a circle, the chicks had to drive around blindfolded and then they had to listen to the command of their partners to get around, otherwise they wouldn't get around. Um, it was quite good. Um, Shauna did it with Nas, but I know she she wanted, she wished it was Callum. She blatantly wished it was Callum and them things there. But Rebecca, yeah, like Rebecca and Jordan, oh my God, they had to go tonight. There was no connection there. Chemistry, <laughs> dead, dead. <laughs> like, there is absolutely nothing there. She has sucked the soul out of Jordan, I'm telling you. Anyway, that challenge went through. Finn and Paige won it. I feel like Finn and Paige just won it because, like, they're the freshest thing in the villa right now. Ooh, 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 ooh. Like, little side note, yeah? I know I said I reckon Finn and Paige going to win it. Like, over this course of this last couple of weeks, it changed a couple of times. Because we thought it was going to be Naz. But do you know what, yeah? Luke T and Shanice. Shanice deserves everyone to say her name right now. No more Sean's knees. No more whatever we used to call her. This girl deserves... Like, Shanice is cool still. I, I, I got nothing bad to say about Shanice. Shanice is cool. I like Shanice. Luke T and Shanice set up a little nice date in the garden for Luke M and Demi. Just so they can get to know each other. Because obviously this, this Niagara girl is playing games, isn't it? Mad games. So... They set up a little date for them in the garden by the beds. They sat down, they spoke to each other, and they genuinely seem to like be attracted to each other and them things there, yeah? And the magical moment happened. They kissed. Shanice and Luti came running over. Everyone was happy. I'm happy. I'm really, really happy. Then later on, another text came through, innit? Someone's always got to go, yeah? So, the, obviously, the public's been voting, innit? And the least, like, Couples have got to go. The, the least voted for couples have got to go. So the three couples that came in the bottom, bottom three, Jess and uh, uh, and Ched, um, Rebecca and Jordan, Naz and Eva. See, when this was happening tonight, yeah, I said, I said, I reckon Naz is going home. The reason is because, yeah, the public. 
fell in love with him because of his heart. But since they realized it's just another Nas, they're just like, you know what, get rid of this guy. Do you know what I'm saying? So Nas and Eva's gone home. Jordan and Rebecca's gone home. And it seems on the next episode, a date might be coming for Shauna still. I'm not going to lie. It looks like she might be, you get me? So let me know what you lot think of tonight's episode. There weren't really that much that happened, but just one or two little bits. Let's talk about it.